my academic research is in the area of power and energy conversion, uh, specifically uh, power electronics and electric machines. The reason I kind of like that is because they uh, interconnect essentially all the different facets of power and energy in the world. PhD work is on new power electronic drives for offshore wind farms, uh, specifically uh, power electronics that can take the electricity out of a generator and turn it into high voltage DC without uh, any kind of transformers and things like that. What it does is it's going to take uh, energy from a permanent magnet AC generator and uh, rectify it and step it up without transformers to uh, a high voltage and thus that can be sent back to a mainland for wind turbine, wind turbine application. And when you get frustrated with your PhD project and you just want to relax, guess what you do? More engineering. Um, uh, <laughs> and so things like the giant speaker and the electric skateboard were just born out of the thought of, you know what, it would be fun to do something kind of out of the norm and, you know, get your friends together and have fun doing it and putting your skills, which are normally reserved for more uh, academic or research related things to do something that's purely based on a good time. You can coordinate these things with motivation number two, and that is uh, educate and inspire others around you. So um, take, for instance, the Engineering Expo. So I've participated in that since 2007. From the point of view of educating others, these tools they be, well, the speaker and the skateboard become tools in the sense that when you see people walking around who are normally not, you know, interested 100% in engineering and science in their everyday lives, and all of a sudden they see something they can relate to. Um, and from that standpoint, you can use that as a delivery mechanism to talk about how that thing works and why it works, and if they're interested in it, how they can pursue their own endeavors um, from that point forward. The Microformer um, is a project I came up with a while back um, uh, and then got a couple friends together to help me sort of deliver in the 2010 uh, Climate Leadership Challenge where we got the, the grand prize for that. That, uh, that project is something that we're trying to live, keep going, to keep live on, have people sort of sustain. Not necessarily myself or my colleagues sustain, but so have it self-sustaining. So its primary goal is to be a vehicle for electrification in small communities in developing nations or in other rural areas. And so there's certain projects like the microformer that have that are all of the above. That they were fun to do. Uh, they were educational, and they help others in improving their quality of life. And I think, it's, at least it's important to me in the sense that uh, you have projects like that, but then you also have just completely, just for the heck of it, projects like a skateboard. Because when you sit down and you build the skateboard, you, I mean, it's actually an educational experience for yourself as well. Sure, it's not academic in any regard, but you have to learn how to do machining and how things go together and what parts uh, that'll work for you but are also affordable, and programming and stuff. So you get all these skill sets from doing these projects which bolster you up for doing other things as well. And so to me, every project is worth something, whether it's to you or to others or all of the above is, you know, just one of the details. I always, I always chuckle to myself when I hear people say, well, oh, I took this class and everything in it wasn't of value. I'm not going to use that or I don't know what that is. And that's not the point of a class. The point of the class is for you to take something out of it and apply it yourself. And it's not, you're not here to be, uh, oh, you're going to, I want to get out, go out and get a job. And what I learn in class, I want it to be 
directly relatable to doing tasks in that job. I don't think that's the mindset uh, students should have at all. I think the mindset should be, how can I take the principles, the basics that I have learned from, these, from a course and use that to engineer and push and mold something of my own? You have a kind of a, a goofy idea. Like, for instance, me taking microwave ovens apart and putting them in paint cans to make a distribution system for a developing nation. I know it sounds goofy, but in fact it works. And uh, if, even if you have a goofy idea, I would say give it a shot anyway. The process alone is worth a heck of a lot more than even if you aren't successful. I mean, say you are successful, that's great, but it's often failing that makes you learn things rather than being successful.